What up, what up, my sexy viewer? Yeah, I see you sitting there all nice and clean, ready to learn some Game Maker. And luckily, you found the right video, and I am going to show you how to do achievements in Game Maker. So, what I did is I went ahead and threw together a little project, and it's simple, but here you are, you're this box, and you have to dodge these, these red squares. And there's no health bar or anything, you just need to dodge them. And you'll see in the bottom left there, there's a time, there's a timer right there. So it'll just time up from one to however long you play the game. So the achievements I want in this game is going to be for lasting a certain amount of time. Now, the thing with achievements and teaching them in an actual tutorial is there are so many you can do, like pass this number, pass this level, pass this guy without losing any health all this stuff so I'm gonna show you the very basics but I mean there's so many that you can't really get through them in all the tutorials or all, like in one tutorial so what I did is I went ahead and made a box here and as you can see I had an animation so it fades so it's gonna stick to this first image here and then after a while it's just gonna fade so alright what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna create a new object I'm going to call it O Rewards, or whatever you want to call it. And in the create event, I'm going to set up global.reward1 equals false, global.reward2 equals false, global.reward3 equals false. Now, these are how many achievements you have in the actual game, so I'm just going to have three and I'm gonna set this to persistent now what persistent means is when I put it in the room and say I change rooms it's not gonna go away so it's not gonna destroy itself so you only need to put it in your first starting room alright so now in here what I'm gonna say is let's see here in my player in the step event if timer is greater than 10, timer is less than 11. So it's only going to do this once. Global.reward1 equals true. Right? So, all right, I'm going to touch on this just a little bit. But, and this source code will be in the description now. I'm going to put all of my Game Maker tutorials into a source and put it in the description so it's there so you can check it out but since I since the timer is in the actual in the actual player class here or uh, object I, I'm just gonna check it within within our player here so if you had say like if you pass a level and or like the boss dies or something and there's an achievement for having all of your health still there you can simply just go in the step event if health is greater than or equal to 100 then reward one equals true and stuff like that so yeah uh, so now I'm gonna say instance create I'm gonna say zero zero oh box and we haven't made that yet so in the I'm gonna create a new object oh box give it that sprite of the achievement and in the create event I'm gonna set image speed to equal zero and image index to equal zero okay and now what I'm gonna say is in the draw event draw sprite s box negative one X Y now I want to draw text within the box so what I'm gonna say is uh, okay drew a blank there uh, so what you're gonna say is actually in the create event create a new variable and name it text just equal it that so they know it's a string value and in our player when we spawn it we're gonna say with 
O box text equals you lasted ten seconds. There we go. And I'm also going to say if instance number. box is less than one okay I'm gonna I'm gonna explain this real quick let's indent that okay so if timer is greater than 10 and global dot reward one then okay we're setting global dot reward one equal true this means boom the reward is done and we we know it's it's already been you know achieved this this achievement here so now we're going to check if the number of o boxes in the room is less than 1 we're going to create one so by that it means that it's not going to create because 10 and 11 there's a 30 well a 60 millisecond time interval so it'll create 60 60 boxes so and then we just say with our box that we just created we're gonna set the text so now in our box draw the sprite now we draw the text X Y text or no we'll do that plus text all right let's test it out So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get nothing. Oh, that's just great. Let's see here real quick. X, Y. Two, 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 two. Uh huh. We'll say less than twelve. So we'll go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still, oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say still nothing, but okay. So it says you last ten seconds. Now this is a a little out of. I mean, obviously the text is a little too big here, but you can just go into fonts, create a new font, make it a little smaller. But that's basically it. Now I'm gonna make it so okay. So I'm, we're gonna say alarm zero equals sixty. Alarm zero. Image speed equals zero point one. Other animation end. Instance destroy. Now if we play it, it should hold for. Two seconds, then slowly fade out. So I probably should have set it to greater than three, but nine, ten. Yeah, so ten seconds. And then it slowly starts to fade out. If it yeah it is. Okay. There we go. And it's slowly fading out. Okay, well, that was it. Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. I mean, there's not too much I can do here. Uh, I will put the, I'll put the source in the description. You can play around with it. Obviously, the text is way too big and other stuff like that, but I don't know. Maybe you can do something with it. Leave a like, subscribe. Boom.